And shares her personal pain in the hopes of protecting other people. She wants to stop teenagers from texting and driving and making it impossible for them to do so. She is working with lawmakers on a bill that would put the control into the hands of parents. She was hit and severely injured by a teenage driver who wasn't paying attention. CBS 4's Karen Morfitt covering that story for us tonight. And Karen, the technology already exists. Jim, we can already sync our phones to our cars, but what if once this phone was inside a vehicle, texting was turned off? While well, lawmakers here in Colorado say that technology is there and they're fighting for access, in their corner is that woman who shares her personal story of being hurt by a distracted driver. I never planned on doing any of this. Four years ago, Shelby Controla says life's plans changed. Her love for the outdoors and everything Colorado has to offer were ripped from her future. Whipped my car around pretty good. She was going about 50 and I was going about 25. A teenager looking down at her cell phone blew through a red light and T-boned Controla's car. She was knocked unconscious and her spine was badly damaged from the force of the impact. I was in a ton of pain, especially for the first year. I had to um, get an L1 through 5 fusion, so the lower half of my back is all metal now. Instead of dwelling on what she can't do, Controla is doing what she can. Supporting a bill that requires carriers to disable a phone's texting and video functions while inside a vehicle, if the user agrees. The technology exists, but cell companies argue a mandate would be overstepping. We believe it's unnecessary. The wireless industry has been at the forefront of educating consumers and providing them technology in order to stop distracted driving. This is just another tech mandate that's unnecessary. Controla says advocating wasn't in her initial plan, but now she hopes sharing her story will lead to real change. It can happen to anyone. Now that bill did pass its first he committee hearing this week. We're live tonight in Denver. Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.